Hi, this is Ronald Burgundy Townsend, here with your 6 o'clock news on KVZ 105.7. The top news stories tonight. In local news, there's been a riot at the hospital. In national news, 96 babies have been Voskinovsky-fied. And in our world news tonight, an earthquake has shaken Asia. More details to come later. But first, we take you out live where David Dubiel is on site at a local helicopter crash. Hi, this is David Dubiel on the scene of a three-way helicopter crash. So David, can you tell us where you're at right now? Uh, we're a mile east of downtown London in the brewery district. And David, can you explain how this crash happened? Yes, a helicopter came in from the east, came this way at a too low of an altitude. And two helicopters that were coming at each other at the right altitude coincided with the, with the one coming from the east and there was an enormous crash. Apparently, the one coming in from the east, had the helicopter pilot had too much soma and it did not what he was doing. And uh, David, what is the image on the scene right now? To be honest with you, Ron, it's too gross in the show on television. There's blood and machinery parts everywhere and it's completely and utterly despicable. It, it's really making me feel real sick right now. I need some Soma. Wow, David, that sounds like a terrible news story. So please, everybody who's going down to the brewery district, take your time and do not rush. And uh, other stories today, there's a riot at the hospital, and we have, lo and we have news footage from that scene. Ah, crap. Holy crap. Flying around to the hospital right now. Trying to see what the heck's going on in here. Ah, stupid construction area. There's somebody coming out, there's somebody coming out. Sir, sir, what, what's going on in there? I had a soma! He threw away our soma! I'm gonna kill him! I'll kill him! I want our soma! That story comes to us from an alpha who witnessed the scene at the hospital where the savage John had started a riot because his Linda died. In the riot, he started to take away the Soma from the Deltas, which you just saw from the tape outside. Now, in national news, there have been 96 babies born from a single embryo thanks to the Boskinowski process. This, is, this comes at a timely time due to the earthquake that has happened in Japan, which makes our world news tonight. And another massive earthquake that has struck Tokyo tonight. And there's another need for Epsilons to help with the cleanup in Tokyo. This come, with the 96 babies that have now been created here in London, they will be shipped out to Tokyo where they will be become Epsilons in condition so that they can help with the cleanup process in Tokyo. Now we're going to take a commercial break thanks to Soma. Soma! A gram is better than a dam. Now we're going to go out to David Dubiel where he's at the field he's previewing Blades of Glory. Here I am, David Dubiel, at the Feelies. You can really feel the freezing cold ice up against your body and as, you, as the cold air whisks through your hair, you can almost smell the aftershaving taco meat smell. This movie is absolutely hysterical. I definitely suggest going to go see it. It's about two people who come together to accomplish one goal. And now we're going to go out to David Dubio. Where is it? where he's in the country and he's caught up with a few individuals playing games. Hello sports fans, this is David Dubio coming to you from the Gravity Range where we are following Michael Jackson as he tries to go for the world record and for the best shot on this course. Michael, a Delta Plus, is very talented in athletics. He is only seven years old but has set many world records in gravity golf and also in the long shot put. Here we are at the champion's first hole where the record attempter, Michael Jackson, is about to tee off. Here we are on the first hole of the gravity range where Michael Jackson is attempting to set the best score in the world. As you may know, the previous best score of an 80 was set by longtime champ Jack Nicholas. Jackson here today, as we mentioned before, Delta is an incredible athlete. Let's see what he has. Ooh. 
Ooh, swing and miss and a thrown bat. That'll be penalty time with two shots. There's Michael Jackson going to the penalty box to receive two shots. And here's the second shot from helmet cam. One. Oh! <laughs> Here we are again. Jackson's second attempt. His first attempt of a swing and miss and two penalty shots really are going to dampen his chances of breaking the record. He really has to be on his A game now or else there's no way that he'll ever break Jack Nicklaus's record. He winds up. Oh, it's a tiring long shot straight towards the hole. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it's right in the sand. A perfect in chip shot in will make it into the hole. Oh, with luck, Eric's shot landed outside of the weeds of the trap as he moves on the ball. This should be, with his skills, an easy chip shot into the hole. So, Mr. Jackson, after breaking that record, please tell me, how do you, how are you feeling out there? Well, I, I was kind of nervous, but you know, I felt confident inside, but all, all over, real, real, real nervous. Mr. Jackson, why don't you uh, take me through the first hole and what you what you were feeling out there and what was going on? Well, the first hole was a disaster. I was really... I, I, I didn't know what's club to choose. I was too far for my minor stuff, and um, I was take out my boomstick. That's my that's my that's my club right there. And um, well, at at the beginning when I missed, I had to take the two pounder shots, but that that hurt really bad, really, 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 really bad. But you know, that's just part of the game, man. It's, it's... So, Mr. Jackson, what does it feel like to be the best Delta at a gravity range? Well, it's, it's really spectacular right now, and, um, it's, it's, it's really great, but, you know, I'm just gonna do it tomorrow, and the day after that, and the day after that, so... With a score of 78, Michael Jackson ended up beating Jack Nicholas' record. Stay tuned in tomorrow to 105.7 for your coverage of the Buckingham Butchers against your... London Punishers in a game of aerial polo. This is David Dubiel signing off. Back to you, Ron. This is Ron Burgundy Townsend signing off for 1057 KBZ. Reminding London, stay classy.